Welcome back friends, my name is Dan Vega and in today's tutorial we're going to take a look at how to set a default value in your configuration properties in Spring Boot. Before we get started, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Dan Vega. I run the website danvega.dev. If you're not familiar with it, go ahead and check it out. You can learn a lot about me as well as get a ton of free content. For those of you who do follow me, I just want to let you know I made a couple updates to the website lately. Kind of cleaned up the navigation. I have a speaking tab here, which allows you to see kind of all the events that are coming up this year. And if you'd like me to speak at your meetup or online conference or event or just podcast, you know, whatever you want me to do, uh, I'm willing to do it. So please go ahead and reach out. Uh, I've also updated the footer with some more links. Uh, I have a users page that kind of goes through, you know, all the stuff that I use on my website and what I do day to day coding and how I shoot these videos. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and check that out. All right, enough of that. Let's get into today's tutorial. We're going to create a new project here. Uh, this is going to be a Maven project using Java. I'm going to use the latest stable, which is 2.6.7. We're going to say um, dev.danvega, and we'll call this greeting service. And we're going to use Java 17. And we'll go ahead and generate this project. Uh, actually, we do need a couple dependencies. Sorry about that. So let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, we need a couple things here. Uh, actually, we're just going to create a web application. And I think that's really all we need. If we need anything more, we can go ahead and add it later. So go ahead and generate this project. Open it up in your favorite uh, text editor IDE. I'll open mine up in IntelliJ, and we'll get going. All right, so here we are in our application that we just opened in IntelliJ. This is the greeting service application. I'd like to go ahead and just run this, make sure we have no issues generating this project. You know, sometimes I have other things running in the background. So, okay, we're good to go. Let's go ahead and get started. So what we want to do here is we want to expose some information that someone can go ahead and configure later on in the application. So normally we can do this like through application.properties. We know that, uh, you know, in a web application environment, there are def many different things that we can configure, right? So we can come in here and say, hey, I want the server.port to be something different, we can change that. And now, you know, this could run on, say, port 8085. I'm not going to change it, but what we want to do is we want to expose a property like that in our application so that somebody else can configure it. So maybe we had something called um, greeting.salutation, and we want to allow someone to go ahead and change that. Now, you see I'm getting no code assist because there is no property called greeting.salutation, not yet that, at least. So let's go ahead and make that happen. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a new Java class. And in this Java class, we'll call this the greeting properties. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to mark this with the app configuration properties annotation. Uh, the, you'll see right away we get this uh, kind of hint in, an, uh, in IntelliJ that we need the configuration annotation processor. We actually didn't configure that when we started the application. We could have done so, but this is going to open this up and say, hey, this is what you need to include. If we go back to start.spring.io, uh, you can go ahead and include that, um, and then you won't have to do this piece but okay so now that we have that I'm gonna jump into the palm and go ahead and paste this in reload maven and then we should be okay from this standpoint now we need to give this a prefix so just as you saw back in the application of properties we had a prefix of greeting dot so we're gonna go ahead and say the greeting is our prefix so it's going to complain a little bit more, and all it's really saying here is that we have this configuration properties, but we have not enabled configuration properties, and we're going to do so for the greeting properties class, and now we should be good. So what we want to do is we want to expose a property here in this class that somebody can go ahead and configure. To do so, we're going to create a um, property. So we're going to say this is a string, and we're going to call this salutation. Now what we have to do with that is go ahead and create a getter and setter for each of those properties. And we do that, and now we have this um, property that can be configured. So I'm just going to go ahead and run build. If you go into application.properties right now, you still won't see this. So it's still not there. But if we go ahead and build this, 
you'll see that now in the target, um, whoops, sorry, I'm in the wrong place. Let's go ahead and delete that. I want to build. There we go. So now we have this meta inf, and you'll see this spring dash configuration metadata. And now you'll see in here, hey, there's a group, there's a greeting, here's the actual class, here are the properties. So the property name is greeting.salutation, and it just gives some information about it. Uh, one more thing we can actually do to take this a little bit further is we can go ahead and comment on this. So what I want to say is um, this is the greeting salutation. And let's go ahead and build this again. And if we open this up now, you'll see you'll have a description here as well. So that is our property. Now we can come in here and say greeting.salutation. And I'm going to go ahead and use a, um, let's not do that. Let's just say our salutation is hello. So now we have a salutation. It's set up in the properties. Uh, what I want to do is create just a simple controller. So I'm going to say Java class. I'm going to say this is the greeting controller. And in the greeting controller, we're just going to do a couple of things. So I want a, I want this to be a REST controller. And in the REST controller, I'm going to have a single method for our single mapping called git mapping for public string home. And this is going to return basically a string plus um, our name. So let's just say Dan. Now this thing, what I want this to be is actually the salutation. So what I'm going to do is get an instance of our greeting properties. So I'm going to say private final, uh, greeting properties, greeting properties, and we'll get that through constructor injection. And now with that in place, now we can go ahead and say greeting properties dot get salutation. So that is really all we need. If we go ahead and run this, everything looks okay. If we head back to the browser, you will see that our string, hello Dan, is being displayed. Here in lies the problem though. What if someone doesn't come in here and set this? So let's go ahead and comment this out, rerun this. And you'll see we're just getting null, Dan. <laughs> that doesn't exactly uh, greet someone. So what I wanna do is to be able to set a default value and we can do that. So if we go into our greeting properties, all right, so this is how I normally would set up a greeting properties class. But what I want to do is actually create an immutable greetings property, one that we can set through a constructor, and then there is really no setter after the fact. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and get rid of the getter and setter, and I'm going to go ahead and create a constructor that accepts that salutation. Now what we can do is we can go ahead and instruct the greetings property class that we're going to uh, accept these uh, the uh, salutation through a constructor binding. So if we go ahead and look at that, all that says is that this annotation is used to indicate that configuration properties should be bound using constructor arguments rather than by calling a setter. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and use uh, this default value annotation and we can say, uh, let's use our wave emoji, and we'll say hello. And now if we go ahead and rerun our application, oops, we still need our getter. Sorry about that. And now if we go ahead and run our application again, Everything starts up fine. Let's go back to the browser, and now we get the emo the wave emoji with hello and then Dan, and we haven't set anything here in application.properties. So this is great. Uh, this gives us a way to set a default value, but we're not done there yet. 
this works for records as well. So let's go ahead and get rid of all of this. We're going to get rid of this and now we're just going to change this to a record type. And we're going to say that this is going to take a string called citation. And we can also use the default value here. Um, let's just do something different. Uh, let's say, hello. Okay, so let's go ahead and, oh, we're gonna have to fix one other thing in our greetings controller. This is just gonna be citation now. And let's go ahead and run this and head back to the browser. And there we go, we get our new default value. So there you have it, uh, nothing pretty, nothing complex, but uh, pretty useful to be able to set a default value with the at default value annotation. Uh, you can do it in both the class and the record type. Just remember in the class, you have to do it through a constructor argument and not a setter. And to do so, you need that constructor binding uh, annotation. So that's it for today. If you found this tutorial useful, please go ahead and leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and as always friends, happy coding.